No, by, the, bus, that's the equipped grandpa. After languishing in jail for 13 years since his arrest in a police by bus operation, a grandfather was acquitted by the Supreme Court on grounds of reasonable doubt because he was mad before he had actually sold drugs. In a 19, hyphen page decision written by Chief Justice Lucas Berthelin, the court's first decision ordered the Dadeo prison and penal farm to immediately release Rosalio Matteo. Matteo was convicted in February 2011 by the Capindro City Regional Trial, Court, RTC, Branch 25 for selling, trading and delivering illegal drugs, a violation of Section 5, Article 2 of the Public Act No. 9165, or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drug Act of 2002. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and fined P500,000. The RTC decision was upheld by the Court of Appeal, CA, in September 2014. According to court records, Matteo was caught with a transparent plastic bag containing 7.40 grams of dry, Mary Genabilin at the post by bus operation in Durani Gugo, Cavindro City, on August 6, 2006. He was detained and charged five days later. No sale transpired. The High Court held that the prosecution failed to establish the essential element of delivery of the dangerous drug by Matteo to the Pusser buyer. Citing the stenographic notes, the court said the policeman who posed as the buyer immediately arrested Matteo as soon as he pulled out the plastic bag from his pocket. Under such circumstances, there was no sale because the delivery of the dangerous drug to the Pusser buyer had not yet transpired. Delivery as one of the essential elements of illegal sale of dangerous drug under Section 5 of RA 9165 is defined as the act of knowingly passing a dangerous drug to another, personally or otherwise, and by any means, with or without, consideration, the court said. The other division members Justices Mariano del Castillo, Francis Jardelita, Alexander Gesmundo and Rosemary Carandang concurred with Bersamin. In his defense, Matteo claims he was at home talking to a relative while waiting for the start of his grandchild's birthday party when the policeman accosted him and asked him if he was the one who had jumped bail in a pending drug case. He said he was about to respond to the officer when others entered the house, apprehended him and took him to the police station where he was shown the two packets of Mary Janet and the two pieces of T20 bill mark money said to have been seized from him. Great doubts during the RTC trial, however, two of the officers admitted arresting Matteo while he was taking out the Mary Jana from his trousers pocket. The court concluded that, the confiscation did not take place following a sale. For a buy bus to be successful, the offender should have accepted the offer to buy the drug and deliver the drug in exchange for the price agreed upon, it said. Cost inconsistency this is precisely why the operation is actually denominated as a buy bus. In this case, however, the operation was merely a bus, in view of the absence of a sale, it added. The court also raised great doubts about the integrity of the drug as evidence of the commission of the crime, because left square graphic key right square graphic contrary to the finding of the CA and the RTC, Serious and unjustifiable gaps broke the chain of custody of the confiscated Mary Janet. As a result, we should doubt the stated reason for the arrest, it ruled. The court also found that the arresting policemen failed to comply with the requirements under the Dangerous Drugs Act because they did not inventory and photograph the seized drugs in the presence of Yagio or his counsel, and before a medium and a representative of the Department of Justice and an elected government official who are required to sign the inventory. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.